Hi everybody. Happy Monday. I thought I'd do a page with you today. Um, by the way, if you don't know me, I'm Laura McGuire. I am an independent advisor for Creative Memories and I have been doing it for 25 years. And um, I'm go I want to do a, uh, a, a little page. Now, last weekend on Facebook, Creative Memory sponsors a virtual crop. And what they do is give challenges. They give you sketches to follow. And uh, the, the sketches are used specifically for a, uh, a, drop, a jump off spot. You don't have to follow them exactly. But I kind of took a liking to this particular sketch. And I want to show you how I did it. Now what you need is a... One piece of de designer paper, well, maybe two pieces of designer paper. And I used a white background, so the white shows through. And I'm not sure if this paper was too busy, but um, I want to show you how to do this angle. Now, I know they have directions on the Creative Memories blog on how to do that, but I kind of did it my own way. And I put a little journal box here so you have room for three photos and a, and you have room to journal and you can embellish. And I did use the double fan border from the Border Maker cartridge, which I, I really like a lot. So I'm going to put this aside. And I took this theme pack. It's an Everyday Decor 1 theme pack. Theme packs have four sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided printed paper and one sheet of designer stickers and one sheet of cardstock. So I'm going to use a cardstock that came with this. It's a um, like a shimmer cardstock. And um, I'm going to use this as the background. I'm going to make mats out of that. So we'll put that aside. And I guess I'll, I, I'll see what I'm going to do for embellishments. I'm not exactly sure. It came with this white shimmer cardstock. So I'm going to use that for the background. I figured it was all here, all in one spot. I'll use it. So the first thing I want to do is cut a frame. So, oh, and I did, what I did was a one inch frame all the way around. So you can do that really easy with the 12 inch trimmer. And I know I've shown this in my videos before, but I'll show it again. I'm lining, I'm uh, making sure it's straight up against the one inch mark on the right. And then I'm going to start my cut. I'm going to bring the carriage. This is a ruler here. It has numbers. I'm going to bring that carriage down to two inches because it's one inch between the cut and the edge of the carriage. So if you put it at two inches, you know you're going to cut at one inch. Whoops. And then my hand slipped on that. There's a two inch. And I'm going to come all the way down. I'm going to bring my carriage down to 12 inches, but the cut stops at 11 so you want to do that all the way around and then you get a nice frame and that you know that's nice if let's see started at two that's nice if, if you don't want to add a lot of weight to your page just cut the middle out and then you you have a piece that you can use whoops i went too far on that one that's because I'm talking. <laughs> so, so I don't know if any of you go, you know, attend the virtual crops on Facebook. They're fantastic. They give prizes if you post your there. If you post your pages on, um, you know, and, and hashtag which challenge it was, you have a chance to win 
really nice prizes. So I highly recommend. Doesn't matter where you're from. Down of the 12. And that is the frame. So while I have my trimmer out, I am going to cut one quarter inch. Whoa, one quarter. One quarter is to the end of the mat there. So I'm going to put that at the end of the mat. All the way down. And I want to cut so, so that I have um, that border around this. And then I'm going to flip it. And cut a quarter <clears throat> quarter inch off of this other side. We'll put that aside. We'll put the 12 inch trimmer aside for the time being. So now what I want to do is put the frame on the piece of cardstock. And I'm using repositionable tape runner. So that if I put it on, if it doesn't come, you know, if it, I place it wrong, it easily comes up. But see, even that side that I went too far on, it doesn't even show. There I go. So. And. Make sure it's lining up with the edges. Not all paper is cut to the same size. They're mostly approximate. So now this piece is the flip side of that. I can put it right here and have a nice border around it. So we'll put taper on the back of that. And this is a very quick page, so once you know how to do it, and it comes out really, really, really nice. Now, even if you wanted to leave it like this, it would be perfect. But we want that piece to go across. So I think I'm going to use the green. It's the flip side. Let's see, will I have enough? Yeah, I'm, uh, what you need is a four inch piece. And I can always use something else for mats, but let's try this. Because I just wanted to use everything out of that theme pack. And we'll see how this goes. And I'm cutting it at four inches. Yeah, I'll be able to get a couple mats out of that. We'll put that over there. And then I want to turn it because this isn't going to fit across like that. So I want to cut it. I'm going to cut it at 8 inches. Now, the, these are just numbers that I kind of figured out myself. When you're given a sketch, it's kind of what you're left with. And... It leaves a lot to what to work into what you have and what you can do. So now I want to place this. I'm going to place the corner at, at the edge of that paper. And then I'm going to get my ruler. Now I can't remember where I put my ruler, of course. Of course, that's typical me. And... I'm going to place this. Let's see. Let me cut a, I want to cut a mat to see how that places. And the reason why you, you need the mat, I'm going to cover that space with a mat. So I'll cut a four by six inch mat. On my other one, I had a four and a half by six and a half. But with a four by six, I think um, you just have to trim your your photo down just a little bit. And then I want two four by four. How, how, how 
wide is that? That's eight. Yeah, so four. by four and that'll give me my mats for my pictures so now I can place them and see where I want these pieces placed so I mean you want you want the bottom corner on the left to line up with the edge of the paper and you want the top corner on the right to line up and that this looks like it's going to work out but I like my picture a little higher so I'm going to move this up a little higher and I think this is a good spot for everything so now what I'm going to do is put my mat aside and I'm taking my zero centering ruler so that I can be sure that these line up and appear to be going right across the page. So, and with repo, the task is made easier. So you wanna angle it a bit. And then what I'm gonna do is line up the ruler against the, the four the shorter piece which is stuck down and then I'm going to put my repo on the back of this and just line this up with the ruler so that way whoops I just want the top corner at the edge that way it's I know it's it's straight and it's going to line up up here, the same thing. So now we'll put the photo mats down. And I'm trying to get it straight. And you know, I really like my 13 by 13 mat. I should pull it out. It's been a few weeks since I've pulled it out. And then we'll put mats on the right-hand side. And these are four by four mats. So you'd probably want to cut your photos down to three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And you get a nice, a nice border around the edge. And it... it You'll just get the flowers around the edge and it'll look pretty. It won't be it won't overwhelm your photos. And now this right here. That's better. Now the last thing, well, it's not really the last thing, but I'm going to turn it over. And just take my scissors. You can do this with the with the twelve inch trimmer, but I this is quicker. And just trim those edges off. Now I think it's very possible. I didn't really read through the directions on the blog. There are directions on the blog, but this is kind this is what I feel worked for me. Now, on my original one, I did use the, um, the double fan border maker cartridge on the edge. But this time, I'm going to my, my theme pack, and there are some really pretty... I might take these, the blue borders, and... I think that'll show up on the edge of the green really well. I, I, I thought about the vines, but I think the vines might not show up. You can put that, really, you can put that at the edge here. Or you can, you can put it over here if you wanted. 
but I kind of like it there. And then I think the blue also picks up the blue and the mattes. So I, I, I kind of like this one. So that's that border. And then you can, I mean, you can... You can put other embellishments on if you want. Maybe with foam squares. If you saw my table, it's 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 a mess. I've been getting ready for um, a special event, and I've been trying different things. Well, I'm not going to do the foam squares. But I like that little embellishment. And of course I want two more. That's not, well, it probably is straight, actually. And let's see. But it doesn't look straight because that sheet is on an angle. So let's do that. And then let's get a couple of flowers from here. Um, and let's do the heart. So there's three there. And then let's do something on this side. And let's see, we've got that, and some leaves, hmm. you know, sometimes I feel limited. Let's see, let's put this one. So that's the page for today. Now, if I can find the card I did, and it should be right here, with the uh, double fan border, I do have it. Check that out. With the double fan border, you cut two, actually two borders, and then you just line them up and you get you get a nice design in the middle. And so I it, real simple to make a card. Just get a just mat it, you know, just cut some pieces and mat it, and then four four from your border maker system, and you have a nice card. So that's the double fan. I love that. I love that cartridge. You can do a lot with it. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week.